All right, so uh, I got another request to take a look at V-Ray proxy objects. Um, this is something new in V-Ray 1.5. So I'm in um, V-Ray, or sorry, Rhino 5. Uh, in, in the V-Ray toolbar here, you can see there's a kind of a tree symbol here. And that's the import pro proxy object and also the write proxy object. Um, now, a proxy object is essentially kind of a distilled down piece of geometry, let's say, uh, in the example, we'll look at a tree. A tree will have many, many, many facets for leaves. And if I put in, say, 500 trees in the scene, then the uh, the model might start to get bogged down because there's just too much information. Uh, with a proxy object, uh, it'll really reduce the number of faces within the scene. But when you render, it will render uh, all of the material that is there. Um, so we're going to take a quick look of how to set that up. Uh, you could model anything in here if I wanted to come in uh, and just make a cylinder like so. Uh, I could apply a material to it and then uh, save it as a V-Ray proxy object and come in and put a whole bunch of them. Really, a cylinder is incredibly simple, so it wouldn't save you too much. Um, but that's why we're looking at the tree. It's a little more in-depth. Um, so I'm going to go File, Import. Um, and I have a tree.obj. This is just something I downloaded from the internet. Um, and we can say keep it as groups. That's fine. Import all the objects. Great. Uh, and so this isn't the V-Ray proxy. This is an actual you know, piece of geometry. And you can see I have a ton of leaves and a tree trunk here. The leaves are one group. The trunk is another. Um, so now I need to make some materials to go on to this object. Uh, so if I come up to my materials panel, I'm going to create a new material standard and we'll call it trunk uh, and I just have a bark texture that I'll load up with a bitmap if you're unfamiliar with creating your own materials check out the other tutorial on the site here uh, and I'll use the, uh, the tree number five uh, so now if I see that I just bark which is great and the next create standard material and this one will be leaves or leaves plural um, so here again I'm gonna make a bitmap there's the red leaf, okay, and this has a transparency map that goes with it, which is the, uh, which basically cuts out that shape so that the, each of those facets will be a leaf shape and not, you know, kind of just the weird red box with a leaf imprint. Uh, the one thing with this is I actually have to invert it. Black and white needs the flip so that when I preview this, you can see um, it's just the leaf. You can see this little bit here. It's actually shaped around a sphere, which is fine. So I'm going to click my leaves, right-click, and apply this selection. Click my trunk, right-click, and apply this to my selection. So now if I were to render this, we would see, let's see, I can actually do that really quickly. I'm um, using, again, the VA, v, V-Ray uh, default settings of GI IR map medium. That's my kind of go-to. I've got a physical camera turned on. I'll quickly throw um, a sun in the scene right here and I'll put an infinite plane on the ground and then if I set up my camera here and um, actually one last thing I want to do is come to my output get my aspect ratio and make it really small right now we you can already see that that rhinos kind of laggy just because of the amount of geometry in this one tree um, but if I did a quick render and I won't even let this finish you can see that the bark is there and we've got red leaves and as it kind of gets more and more resolved you'll see there's like you know an actual leaf on there. But I'm going to cancel that because that's not why we're here. We're here for V-Ray proxy objects. So if I click both things, the trunk and the leaf, and I right click here, that uses the write command. We're going to write the proxy. So right click it, I'm going to come to V-Ray proxy, and I'm going to call this tree, um, and it's going to be this VR mesh. It's just a mesh file. Um, export all to a single mesh file, export selected object in separate files, non-recursive, export each mesh in separate files. Um, we're going to try to keep it as one. Um, I'm a little worried because we have two textures and uh, it may not know which texture to keep, but we're going to try it as the first one and if it doesn't work we'll come back. So there, it, it already wrote that file. Now it is actually a V-Ray proxy option here. It's still an open mesh, but we get this little dialog, bo dialog box that it, it know, we know it's a proxy. Also you can tell that there's like no geometry left to the scene. Uh, and if we render again, let's see, it maintains textures. So you can see we already have the trunk right there, and we have uh, the leaves, which is great. So now, 
um, you know, with, with a much smaller file, I can take my proxy and copy it. Um, I'm just going to hold shift so I can go non-ortho, and I'm going to hold alt so I don't snap to anything. And I will put in a whole bunch of trees. They'll, they'll be odd because they're all going to be facing the exact same direction. Um, if you wanted to, I suppose you could go into a uh, grasshopper script, and uh, there's actually one on, on the internet that will help you array and randomize um, proxy objects. Uh, I haven't got it working, and that's really not the point of this tutorial. It's just to show you that here, you know, I have a ton of trees, and I can even copy more. We'll make a quick forest. Holding Alt and Shift so I'm not snapping anything. Some of these will be weird because the trees will actually be overlapping with one another, but fine. Um, so let's get a nice camera view here. Always not ever a fan of the 50 millimeter. So I'll come in like this. <laughs> it's it's kind of funny that they're all just the exact same tree, um, but fine. We'll go with that, and then. Uh, I'm going to do just a quick render, and this will probably take a little bit, so I'll fast forward and see it on the other side. Alright, so there you go. You can see, obviously, the render settings were not quite right. Um, pretty far off. Also, the infinite plane was just white. There's no material on it. But it's pretty overexposed. Um, I'm not going to run the rendering again because uh, it was just a test. But you can see that there is a ton of geometry in the scene um, casting shadows, and there's lots of shadows within the trees themselves. Uh, and that all came from the proxy objects. Um, so let's see if we can minimize this. Yeah, so you can see how full these are and how um, small. These uh, the proxy actually has, you know, only a few uh, indications of where the leaves are. Um, so that's how you use them. I hope it's helpful. If you uh, have any questions, you can leave comments below, uh, like or subscribe to the video, or email me at c.k.mcadams at gmail.com. Hope it helps.